Well, you know the the bridge the, the, uh, over the Millbrook? Yes, down Bridge Street. Yes, that, that, uh, coming up from Weald, yes. the very first house over the bridge on the left-hand side yes. before the pub, yes. Mrs Rogers lived yes. there and she had a sweet shop. Right. So that's what. Did it have jars of humbugs? And yes, all that? sorts of things. It was in the room of her house. <laughs> yes. But she and she had it there, and she was open on Sundays as well. If anybody yes. wanted sweets there, and then bishops, where the bishops, where bishops are now. That's there were Emmys. Emmys. Yeah. There were two old ladies lived there, the Sparrows, Miss Miranda and Miss Teresa, and they were always called Miss Miranda and Miss Teresa, and they had a shop of sort, but it was not like it is now. It wasn't paper shop. They sold a few sweets, um, sugar, tea, cocoa, that sort of thing. Basic groceries. Um, paraffin, candles, lamps, all that sort of thing in there. Yeah. And, and the house opposite, next to the chapel, yes. that was a Mr. Wells um, paper shop. Is that Pear Tree House, that one? The old house next well, to yeah, the Yeah, it's chapel. got the Pear Tree. Yes. 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 That was Mr. Wells' paper shop, and his children had to get up early in the morning to deliver the papers before they went to school. He didn't pay anyone. It later became a butcher shop. Oh, yeah. And then the, where the post office is now, which was a pub, uh, there was a lady lived there, and I can't remember her name for the life of me. I can see her face. And there was the door... You went in, went straight down the passage, and there were rooms either side. And at the bottom was a kitchen with a huge black cooker. And she used to do fish and chips, but she did them as you went in, with great big frying pans. And you, you went in and you just waited while she fried fish and chips for you. I bet it was good. It was good, yeah. My mother used to send me there. And then, you know Eagle House? Yeah. Where Mrs Martin had the Roman Catholic church at the top for the children from school. They would go in uh, scripture lessons. They would go off to Mrs. Martin to her Roman Catholic bit and come back after we'd. Now, Mr. Martin was the landlord of the pub, wasn't he? The yes. Eagle Pub. Yes. They had a sweet shop. Did they? they yeah. In the, win the window there, there was yeah. a sweet shop. And then, of course, Mr. Money, you know, who made shoes. Before Mr. Money, in my time, was a man called Mr. Sufflin. And he made shoes for people. In the same shop, same, same shop. place. Yes. And now, that's in Bridge Street, isn't it? Yes. One yeah. of my uncles was apprenticed to him. One of my father's brothers. Yeah. Um, and then Arthur Hill's shop, that was Kimber's Butcher. Kimber's Butchers, and they, they owned the pub as well. Um, you know, the, the, the horseshoe. horseshoe. Yeah. And Mr Kimber had the butcher shop. When did it stop being a butcher shop? <coughs> when Arthur took it over, I think. And when I think it was, it was empty for quite a long time before Arthur took it over. So was that in the 50s, do you think? I can't remember, it must no. have been. Yeah. You know where our butcher shop is now? Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't. It was just a great tall wall there. Um, covering the back for the Dutton shop. But the cottage where Mary Farmer used to live, between that and the shop, and Miss Penfold had that, and that was a homemade coat shop. Her parents lived in Broad Street, where Marion where Marian Goldring lives now. Miss, her parents lived there, Captain and Mrs Penfold. And this lady ha had Mary's house, and she had all the homemade cakes in the windows. Lovely. Mm. Yeah. Despite uh, the, having the bakery there, she still did well with her homemade cakes. Then of course there were Dutton's, Dutton's yeah. shop, which was a, when you went in there you could smell the coffee, they used to grind grind the coffee for you and cut the bacon with a knife, you know, it's a lovely that shop. That was a real old fashioned grocery and, shop. And it? the other side was chemist, this side was grocery and that side was chemist. Oh, I don't remember the chemist. Mm. Yeah. And those great big bottles with coloured liquids in, in the window that side. It's and then the Romany, that yeah. was another shop that supplied all the gentry, that was Thompson's, Mrs. Thompson. She left that to Fred Tung, if you remember. Mm. And then Constables uh, of Bacon. Uh, as a, a sort of um, grocers again? Yes. Yes, okay. High class grocers. High class grocers, okay, yes. right, mm. right. I mean, the, the non-ordinary folk didn't go there, it was too expensive. The Constables of Bakers, which, yes. you know, we had our own bakers. That's where the and Chinese the shop is yes. at, yes. And you know the house next to it, not the little cottage bit, because that was part of the bakers, but the next one where yes. Mrs. Owens used to live. Yes. That was the gas showrooms. Oh, was it? Where we had um, cookers Mr. Mr. Quick lived there, the old Mr. Quick. Yes. Cookers and lights, and you bought your gas mantles there, you know, and yes. any gas repairs you needed to do was there. And right. then the, the next one yeah. was the bank. Okay. Where yeah. the, is that where the poachers is? Or yes, the poachers, okay. that was the right. bank. Then Mr. Simmons' shop, 
and on the side of that was the butcher's shop again, wasn't it? Opposite there where the flats now are yeah. um, was the pub called The Lamb yeah. with railings around it and a big tree. It was never called The Lamb by the locals, it was always it was called The Tree. tree yeah. And on there was at the end bit that had been Mr Hughes' butcher shop, which eventually became a fish and chip shop. Do you remember? No. Do you remember? So this is, no, I can remember The Lamb. Yeah, well, so this is about at least four, at least we've got four butcher shops, which is amazing. That too. Oh, yeah. there's another one to come, yeah? Another two, actually. As you go on down Cheapside, is, we know where yeah. Cheapside is, yeah. those tall houses just on the left, past Mignonette. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the end bit used, that used to be Hughes' shop, you remember Mrs. Hughes? Well, that was called, um, something omniferous, call it. He had it, it was a jeweller shop. The window that side had all the silver stuff in it, and the one this side had all the rings and the watches. Mm. Oh. And I can remember we used to go to, I'd like that one and I'd like that one too, when we were children, you know. Mm. And he also had a garage working at the back. Yes. Oliver Omniferous Collet, that was his name. And then going across, the going around the corner from the, from the um, tree, the lamb. Yeah. What this, where the solicitor's office is now, that was Mr. B Mr. Um, Brown's grocery shop, Winnie Brown. You remember Winnie Brown? She, her father and mother had that, and she she worked in the butcher's shop, which is now, which was Kept Temple's. Right, yes. Yeah, but that was a butcher shop. That was Mr. Jill's butcher shop. Okay. And then it became a laundrette. Yes. And then, that, then I suppose it was the heart of John. John Henry, Temple's shop, yes. And there was eels then in between yes. that. Oh, and where the, the where the um, yes, estate, estate agent, agent yes. that was a, a garage. And before yes. that, it was a Mrs. Hutchins and her two daughters had a, a really nice uh, draper shop. And I can remember they had like a wooden stand, which was round at the top. And they had these, you remember when gore skirts came out? Mm -hmm. They used to be fixed under there and these gore skirts all around on the stands. And then after after Mrs. Hutchins went, it was the central garage. The malt shovel, yes. Mrs. Kent had that. They they had lots of pigs, they bred pigs there. And she used to sell their own bacon and ham. Mm. She also sold sweets and pickles and home, homemade mostly. And uh, lard, she used to sell, make lard from the pig flat, you know, and sell lard. So that was another little shop. It's fantastic. And vinegar. I remember going there for vinegar. No. Did she make the vinegar? No, she didn't make the she vinegar. She, yeah. sold, she yeah. sold it in a, she it in a barrel. You yeah. took your bottle uh -huh. and she filled it up from the barrel. Right. Uh, oh, she used to make sausage, her own sausages too, yeah. from, from her own meat. She sells sausages. Mr Chandler, the saddler. Yes, I remember him. Um, He's on the right hand side. And then, there. you know the pub that's closed there in the centre, what's it called? The Jubilee? Yes. Well, they take they had a piece built on now to make it into a kitchen or something, haven't they? Yeah. Well, that bit there was a garage. And a man called Colin Townsend had that as a bicycle shop. He did all bicycle repairs. And he had two bicycle, two petrol pumps outside that you had to wind the handle, you know, for petrol. Yeah. And then, of course, the Dutton family. And then Mrs. Clark's dream grocery next to that, where um, Susie lives now. Number four townhouse. That's it, there. yes. Well, Susie Robinson mm. lives there now, yeah. And then over the road where Miss where um, the fish shop is that's now for sale, that was Mr. Clark's shoe mending shop. Mm. And that, then after that it became a uh, fish shop. Fish shop. Mm. Yeah. And of course the post office I missed out in between, yes. which was the tall house. Yeah. Yes. That's well, nice. in fact Wheelgate House, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes. Um, then Busby's, which had the department store, that was. Is that yeah. on the left-hand side? Yes. Is it? Yes. There was the dress department, then you went through and down some steps, and that was the shoe department, and then you went down to the bottom end, and that was the gents outfitters. Is that what's called Strawberry Cottage now? Yes, right. that was the gents mm. outfitters there. That was the mm. gents outfitters there. And then where the um, other little shop, with it on the corner, what's her name? On the corner of Bushy Road. Yes. yes. That was the furniture department. And all then of Busby's. Yes, and then they lived in the house of flat above it. And then Mrs. Stroud Hardware, do you remember that? Yes, I do. That was on the opposite side. Opposite side. Yes. But before that it was a Miss um, one of the Miss Duttons had it as she lived there and she had it as a school for young ladies. 
you know, the trades for people's it. daughters yes. and people who are a bit better off. Yes. Just for girls. It's a girls' school. That's very small as a school, mm. isn't it? But it was to use the upstairs rooms apparently for the school. And then next to the pub. Which pub? The, the, the Morris Clown. Knew in it was. Yes. Uh, yes. The, the first cottage, a man called Mr. Blunt lived. And he didn't have a shop, but he had a, a bicycle with a big basket on, and he used to go around the villages selling haberdashery. Like an old fashioned peddler. Mm. So did Mr. Hill, Arthur Hill's father. Mm. Yes. And then down the Aston Road, you know the new houses that have been built? You know the bungalow next to it, where Mary lives? Well, that was a house. And downstairs was a butcher shop. And the, the window was on on the outside, on the outside of the road. That that end now. Which, that that was the window. And at the side of it, there were some stone stone steps and a little door. And man, the, the butcher cook was called Mr. Webb, and Mrs. Webb had a second-hand clothes shop in the top there. And I can remember that. Do you remember a lot? Her, um, Mrs. Court? She also had a shop next Oh, door. she did, I'd forgotten yeah. that. It was a very short time though, wasn't it, she had that? She sold wool and stuff, didn't yes. she? Yes. Yes. Where was that? That, that was Bom next door to Bobbington's. It is remarkable that the village, it was much smaller, half the size. And self-sufficient, practically. Practically self-sufficient, mm. and all this choice. Yes. That's wonderful. The Elephant and Castle. Yeah, down Bridge Street. The Wheat Chief. Yes, where the post office is. The Eagle. Yes, Church View. Um, Horseshoe. Where it is now. Talbot. Yeah. The Lamb. It's in the centre. Malt Shovel. New Inn. Morris Clown. Yeah. The Swan. Those are the ones I can remember. Oh, so. Swans on the Buckland Road. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was um, where Mr. Day lives in Broad Street. Mm -hmm. That was a pub. That was the plough, I think. Yeah. And um, Prospect Place, you know, Prospect, the cottages at the back of the tall house. Mm -hmm. Not not the one where Dr. McCartan lived, but the other others. My uncle lived in one of those. And they still had the, the settled seats along with the fireplace, you know, when they lived in there. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what the name of that one was. Mm. I remember 11 and no of the other two. Yes.